What's up everyone? Today we're going to be going over Leak Code 1033, Move Stones. Uh, this is kind of a brain teaser problem apparently, uh, not really have to do with algorithms, but it was fun to solve I have to say. Um, pretty much they give you an input of three numbers and they want to give, they, you need to give them an output uh, array of two numbers and this is going to be the minimum number of moves you need to make for all three stones to be right next to each other and this is going to be the maximum number so to make this all next to each other you just have to move this guy to here once that's one move or you can move him one two twice um, when I was solving the problem I realized there was a neat way where if if there were three four five right to make if if there's the minimum to get this one we're gonna solve it too there's gonna be two parts to think of how to get the minimum and the maximum so for the minimum one of the conditions is if there's something like this where two of the stones are just two spaces away from each other the minimum is you're just gonna be you move the third stone to the one in between uh, let me erase that uh, cool so there's some base cases we need to do and the way I solved it is I noticed that sometimes the input would not be always in ascending order so I made an array temporary and um, reassigned it to A, B, and C before uh, sorting it. No, after sorting it, yeah. So int A, R is going to be A, B, C, comma, dot arrays dot sort uh, A, R and then A is going to be set to AR of 0, B is going to be set to AR of 1, C is going to be set to AR of 2. This way I know that A, B, and C, whatever I'm doing, uh, is going to be in a uh, sorted order. Now what did I do next? I think I put, yeah, now I check to see if all three of them were already next to each other, in which case you just return 0, comma 0 integer. If um, math dot a B S B minus A equal to one and math dot A B S C minus B is equal to one. Just return mu int zero comma zero. Uh, that's it for the first base case. Now I'm gonna make use of two integers called um, int a to b is going to be math dot a b s a minus b and int b to c is going to be math dot a b s of b minus c so once those two are there we can figure out. Now, when I create this one, I'm going to call this one AR1, int AR1, and int AR2. Just assume this is initialized to 0. Um, first, I'm going to take care of AR1. If A to B is equal to 2, or b to c is equal to 2, then a r1 is going to be 1. Else, a to, um, okay, a r1 is set to, is a to b equal to 1, then set this to 0, else, make this a 1, increment it by 1, and then this guy is AR1 is um, incremented, yeah, B to C, is it 1, add 1, else, add 0, else add 1. Now I'm going to tell you what this means in a second. So first, this guy is the distance between these two, that's 1 in this case, the distance between these two is 3. Now, AR1 is the minimum that we're going to return in the resulting array. If either one of these is 2, 
right? If either one of these is two, meaning there's a distance of two between two, two stones, the third one can just be put there and that would be one. So the minimum of AR1 is just going to be one. That's why I wrote this else statement, because if neither of them has a distance of two between the stones, between two stones, A and B or B to C, then AR1 is going to be incremented based on the actual distance. In our case, A and B are one away from each other, so we don't have to increment AR1 at all. All we have to do um, is check, hey, how far is this away? Uh, if it's not one, then, you know, in this case, just move it there. So in this case, our AR1 is going to be one, and we took care of it. Now we have to talk about AR2. AR2 is pretty much uh, going to be the number of steps away, but minus one. If there's three steps away, you just have to move it one, two. Uh, before just assigning it, however, we just need to check AR2 is incremented by A to B. Is it 1? Then you increment it by 0. Else, you do A to B minus 1. And then AR2 is again incremented by B to C. Is it 1? No. If it is, if it is there's only 1 away, then you just do you increment it by 0, else you do b to c minus 1. And that's how you find ar2. Once you find this, all you have to do is say return new int and ar1, comma, ar2. So let's just look at it over again. We sort this one in the beginning so that a, b, and c are in ascending order. We check if, hey, are they already next to each other, one after the other? If so, we return 0, comma, 0. Otherwise, we find, hey, what's the actual distance between A and B, and B and C? If either one of the distances is just two away, all we have to do is take the other stone and put it in between, and we find the minimum, which is AR1. If neither of those uh, are two distances, are a distance of two, we increment AR1 by checking, hey, how much do we need to do? If it's pretty far away, all we have to do is take it and put it right next to it. If it's only one away, we don't do anything. That's why we have this conditional. And with, a, with the AR2, we see, okay, is it one away? If it is, we can't really move it. We're not supposed to move it. We, if it is very far away, we just move it one at a time, and that's just going to be the maximum. We found those two, and we turn it. So if you like the video and my explanation, please subscribe, and please like it and comment below what you want to see. Uh, you know you're working hard, so I know your hard work is going to pay off. Hang in there.